What's going on? I hope you guys are well. Hope you guys are staying safe. So guys, Jamal Charlo. You know what, guys? I, I did a... I sat down, thought about it, and I felt like I was a little bit harsh on Jamal Charlo. Uh, I have a very high expectation of Jamal Charlo. Firstly, this video is about Jamal Charlo calling out Golovkin and calling out Canelo, saying that he wants to fight Canelo in Houston, and he's calling out Golovkin. He wants to unify the belts. This is what I'm going to talk about, but I think I sat down, had a reflection. I, I maybe been too harsh on Jamal, and the reason why, I'll tell you why I was a bit harsh on Jamal, because I have very high expectations of Jamal Charlo. I like Jamal Charlo. I've had a lot of people say that, you know, Jamal doesn't get the credit and why do these, why do, you know, why do black fighters have to prove themselves and this, that and the other. Guys, I don't have anything against any, like any particular color, race. I like Jamal Charlo. I, I, I made a video, I literally made a video on Friday praising Jamal Charlo and saying how much of a fan of Jamal I am. I like Jamal, man. I like Jamal Charlo. Let me get that out there. I don't want to come across like I'm a Jamal hater. I'm not. I like Jamal Charlo. And I know there's Canelo fans that are probably going to take a dig. No, no. I like Jamal Charlo. I like Jamal Charlo. I think he's... I like his energy. I, listen, we don't... Here's the thing. What you may like, I might not like. What I might like, you may like. What I may like, you may not like. But that doesn't mean we're wrong. Like, if I like someone's energy, you may not like their energy. I like Jamal Charlo's energy. I like Jamal Charlo. I think, I, I think he's maturing as an individual. I think he's maturing as a fighter. And people calling Jamal a hype job, he's not a hype job. I just expected more because I have high expectations of Jamal Charlo because I rate him very highly. It's not that I'm hating on him. My expectations are higher because I rate him a lot highly. And when, when you're fighting Montiel, you expect a more dominant performance. But what I don't understand about boxing fans is that why do we always criticize fighters? Why do we always say, oh, he's been exposed? He's been this, he's been that. At the, at the end of the day, he had a tough fight. He had a tough fight. But the fight before, everybody was praising him and saying, oh my God, Jamal's the next coming. He, he beat Dervianchenko better than Golovkin and this, that, and the other. Jamal Charlo is what he is. He's a good fighter. A very well-rounded fighter. He can punch. He's a bit wild and I thought he was a bit reckless and he seemed, came across a little bit wild in that fight against, um, uh, against Montiel. And do I think he beats Canelo? No, I don't. I, don't. I think Canelo's too good. I think Canelo beats everybody. Canelo's... I think Canelo's boxing ability, Canelo's punch power, Canelo's ring IQ is just on another level to the, most, most of these guys in a, in a, in a, around these weight divisions. He's, he's on another level. But we need to give Jamal an opportunity. Jamal wants to fight Golovkin. I actually think Golovkin beats Jamal Charlo still. I, I think it's a great fight. I think it's a great fight, but I would slightly favor Golovkin. But that doesn't mean Jamal's not capable. Yeah, I, I see some people say, Imran, Go Jamal's got, Jamal would destroy Golovkin. Jamal beats Golovkin easy. And I'm like, I don't see that. I don't see what you see. I, and I like Jamal Charlo. I don't see what you see. I believe Golovkin beats Jamal Charlo. I don't see what you see, but I think it's a great fight. And I think the fight evens out a little because Golovkin's older. I think Golovkin in his prime, oh my goodness, that would have been a horrible fight for Jamal. But right now, Jamal's got his best chance. And I still slightly favor Golovkin. But Jamal's got his best chance against Golovkin now. Because Golovkin is, has a, had a very tough career. You know, he's not the fighter he was. And Jamal's in his prime. But guys, you've got to understand that I'm not biased towards anyone. Or on, I, I say it how it is. I like Jamal Charlo. I think Jamal Charlo's got great energy. He's a great fighter. He's got good skills. You know, he's tough. But when I give my opinion, I don't think he beats Golovkin. I don't think he beats Canelo. I think those guys, maybe too much. I think he beats Andrade. I think he beats Andrade. I think he beats Murata. I think he's going to have a problem with Golovkin. But... 
I do think the Golovkin fight is competitive. I think he could beat Golovkin. I'm not saying I'm not saying he will. I don't favor him in the fight. I, a couple of years ago, I gave him, I, I wouldn't have given him a chance. Now I give him a better chance. I give him a better chance. It's a 60-40 fight for me in Golovkin's favor. But it's one that if it's one that Charlo can really he can really prove he's an elite fighter or a top. Uh, when I mean elite, he can really prove and stake his claim because the misconception of an elite fighter is, I think a lot of people don't understand what I believe an elite fighter is. For me, an elite fighter is guys like Marvin Hagler, Sugar Ray Leonard, Muhammad Ali, uh, Floyd Mayweather, Manny Pacquiao, Canelo Alvarez. That, that, those are the, my elite fighters. Though That's what you have to be to be elite. You have to have a great resume. You have to have great boxing skills. You have to have great wins at elite level against other elite fighters. And that's what my category of elite is. An elite category, very few boxers make that elite category. That's why when people say elite, right, that's my elite. And you can imagine we're talking about all-time greats there. There's very few people that can make that elite category. And people have a misconception of what an elite fighter is. That's an elite fighter. There's difference between an elite fighter in a division and an elite fighter. See, an elite... 140 pounder or elite 147 pounder doesn't necessarily make an elite fighter. An elite fighter for me are the names that I just mentioned. Ali, Mayweather, Pacquiao, Hagler, Hearns, Sugar Ray Leonard, Sugar Ray Robinson. Those are elite fighters. That's what I believe an elite fighter is. And you have to do a lot in boxing to be in that kind of category. You have to do a lot, a lot to be considered in that kind of category. But coming back to Charlo, right? Charlo, he needs a big fight. And I, I mentioned this in the live stream. Here's the problem that Charlo's going to have. If Charlo keeps fighting fighters like Montiel, the expectation of fans are going to be sensational performances. If he had performed the way he did against Montiel with Andrade, people would have given him praise or praised him because you're fighting another top fighter. You're fighting another undefeated world champion. When you're fighting someone like Montiel, Montiel isn't considered a world-class top fighter. So basically, what you're doing is you're fighting somebody that you're expected to go in there and beat in four or five rounds. You don't look good. Oh, he's been exposed. You're going to get criticism. But... Jamal Charlo is more than capable of beating Andrade. More than he, he could beat Golovkin. So he needs to jump into those big fights now. Otherwise, those expectations are against the fighters that he's fighting. And you could sometimes come up against a guy that has the fight of his night, fight, fight of his life, and he beats you. Ch Jamal Charlo needs a Canelo Alvarez, needs a Golovkin. Canelo's at 168, so that's not going to happen. He needs a Golovkin. He needs a Golovkin. He needs an Andrade. He needs those fights. Those fights need to be made. They need to be made. For the good of the sport of boxing, for, for the good of... He needs those fights. He needs those fights. Simple as that. He needs to... He knows those big fights. And unfortunately, Jamal... And Andrade and these guys, they're not getting those big fights amongst each other. And that's why they're being underrated a little bit. Because when you fight elite fighters, I mean, top fighters, world-class fighters fight each other. World champions fight each other. We get, but we get great fights. We get great fights. We get great matchups. And we get, we get two guys being respected. When Amir Khan fought Marcus Maidana, Khan won that fight. Maidana lost. But did Maidana lose that fight? Did Maidana? You had two world-class fighters fighting each other. And everybody at the end was on their feet clapping. Because we got to see two world-class fighters fighting each other. And battling it out in a life and death fight. That's what boxing fans like to see. We like to see our, the best fighters in the division fight each other and give classic fights. That's what you will be remembered for. You won't be remembered for fighting Montiel. 
because people don't view that as a big fight. See, people view Andrade and Charlo as a big fight. So if that's a classic, that's going to be remembered in history. That's going to be remembered in 10, 15 years time. Oh, Jamal Charlo fought Andrade in a classic. Or Jamal Charlo fought Golovkin in a classic. That's going to be remembered. This is why all these guys need to f start fighting each other. They start fighting each other. Right? They will be respected. They'll be appreciated. They'll be given a lot more credit. Until these guys start fighting each other, unfortunately, they're going to gonna, they're gonna struggle to get the credit they, 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 they deserve. Jamal Charlo des deserves credit. But the problem is... He's not fighting the other top guys in the division. So fans are like frustrated. And, and they're basically saying, oh, well, he's fighting Montiel and he looked, he got exposed. But if he fights Andre or fights Golovkin, if he wins like he did against Montiel, because when you fight someone like Golovkin and Andre, it doesn't matter how you look. It's about winning. Even if you get knocked down once or twice, it's not about, it's about winning because you're fighting, everybody knows you're fighting another killer. Montiel isn't seen as that. Montiel's a good fighter, don't get me wrong. Montiel can fight. But you need to fight the other top guys in the division and that's when you'll gain respect. That's when people will say in 10, 15 years time, you know what? Wow, Jamar Charlo fought. He fought um, Andre in a classic. He fought Golovkin in an absolute war. That's what people want to see. That's what people want, want, want to happen. And... Like I said, I feel like I was a bit harsh on, on, on Jamal Charlo because at the end of the day, he did win comfortably. He did win every, uh, uh, he did win majority of the rounds. It's just that we as boxing fans want to see more from people that we consider, you know, the next big thing or, or guys that's being hyped up a lot. We expect more. And I don't feel we will expect more if he fights the best in the division. If he fights a Golovkin, fights an Andre, we won't expect more. We just want to see him win then. Or we want to see if he's capable of winning against at that level. That's what we want to see. It's, 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 that's what it is. And I think, he'd be a pre, I think he'd be given a lot more credit. This is why I think Jamal Charlo, Andre Golovkin, these guys should be looking to fight one of them. I think Golovkin's already fought a lot of top opposition and he's, and he's, and he's already, for me, secured his legacy. But I do think that Golovkin... Should look to. I think Golovkin has a great opportunity to become undisputed at this weight because I do think the guys Andre, Morata, I think they're beatable. Charlo, they're beatable for Golovkin. So Golovkin should think about it, and I'll become undisputed, and Canelo might come down and fight him for the undisputed. Golovkin is more than capable at his age still to become undisputed at this weight class, without question. He's still more than capable because I've, I I feel that he's capable of beating Charlo, Andre, and Morata. So for me, he's still very capable. And that's just my take. But Jamal, hopefully he can get a big fight. Hopefully they can help or the promoters can make the big fight and give the fans what they want to see. The fans want to see him fight the other top names in the division. Let's see if it can happen. Let's see if it can be made. Leave your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, guys. And guys, remember to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.